This video is sponsored by Motionary and Artlist. More on that later. Let's recreate an Oscar winning film scene. At home. But Megan, which scene are we recreating? So I think we are all familiar with this scene from Everything Everywhere All at Once, E-E-A-A-O. And I know, before you say anything, I am very late to the party, I know that. Fun fact, I actually tried recreating one scene from E-E-A-A-O when the film came out last year, but I'll let you be the judge of that and see what you think. <laughs> Sucked into a bagel. Let me know if you think I've improved in the comments and watch till the end for the final results for this video. Have fun! Step number one, set up your green screen. And if you don't have a green screen, do not worry, do not panic. You can always buy it online and it costs only a few bucks or you can just get like green paper in the green tone of a green screen or blue paper in the tone of a blue screen. Step number two, lighting. Since the scene has to be really fast paced, I am placing two color changing lights on my left and on my right side. And in order to have a key light for my face, I use this small LED light to light up my face. If you do not have color changing lights, then get a friend to hold some transparent color paper in front of a lamp and change them every second so that you get this color changing effect as well. This is how it'll look then. You're probably asking yourself, Megan, how do we get the background to be so fast paced as well as we don't have the footage? Well, that's where Motion Array and Artlist come in. Their websites are basically havens for creators like you and me. They have everything from stock footage to SFX to templates to music to title to vectors to buttons and much much more. I'll show you how I incorporate their footages in post later on so that we can complete our multiverse jumping scene. All the graphics, titles, music, SFX that you hear and see in my video today are all from Motion Array and Artlist. Step number three, acting the part. So because we want to make it super fast paced in pose, I had to act out my part really, really slowly so that I can speed it up in the editing later on. And this is how it looked. Oh, but we do need some wind, some effect to bring everything together. It's the small things that matter. Well, average. <laughs> So my friend Delara, shout out to her by the way, I couldn't have done it without her. She stood behind me with my hair dryer and she created a wind effect from behind. This goes out to all of us filmmakers that are on a tight, tight, tight budget. <laughs> An extra tip for those who do not have a strobe light, you guys can always use your phone flashlight at the back and do it like I'm doing here and it definitely helps as well. Step number four, the end scene. So for the ending scene to this multiverse jumping scene, she ended up in a limo with all the paparazzi shooting photos of her. So to wrap all of this together nicely, we of course had to recreate the scene. So we moved on over to a car. So this is gonna be our key light with the grid. As you can see in the scene, the scene was coming from her left side, I think. From her left side, it was a quite like a warm, soft light. So we're gonna be using this inside the car as our key light. It's gonna be a 2009 Kelvin. I'm gonna put this on that so that it stays and it, you know, hits my face. I'm gonna be sitting in the middle, so let's see how that turns out. This is gonna be my paparazzi, my paparazzi light. But you guys can also use your flashlight, like how I, like how I showed you guys in the previous video. So. Dilara is holding our light up because it can't balance on the on the car and it was high enough and we don't have a tripod right here right now and it she fit. The tripod doesn't fit. It 
doesn't fit. Dilara was also doing, uh, using her phone to do the flash. So um, we have another flash here that we just put in the back pocket, which is really funny. But we're gonna try doing a faster, faster flashlight now with another light. But Dilara was also doing that the whole time. <laughs> so yeah. And here are the results. Step number five, editing and VFX. Once you have keyed out all your green screen and color corrected and graded to how you want the scene to look, we are going to go online to Motion Array or any website of your choice, mine will be Motion Array in this case, and type in walking in city or time lapse for example, and then search out whatever you need. I searched out a few clips where someone is walking through the city and I'm going to speed that up, like for example this time lapse in New York or someone just walking through Italy for example. We then bring it into your software of choice and speed it up by 400%. I also use motion blur and zoom blur to give it more of a fast movement effect. After you have done this, all you have to do is repeat the process with other clips and cut them very near to each other so that you have this effect of fast paced changing environments. And all you have to do now is sort out your music and your SFX, which I also did in Artlist. I searched for a rewind on Artlist because I somehow had a feeling that it would, it would fit the movement and action on screen. And I found so many great choices that I'm going to be overlaying. To add more drama to your scene, you can always add a riser and a hit at the end, which you also can find on Artlist. A riser and a hit are basically SFXs to help create that dramatic suspense in your videos. So I find that very, very helpful. And without further ado, here are the final results. <laughs> 